So in this video, we're going to be looking at the maths you need for radioactivity questions, alpha and beta decay. And these questions are a little bit different to other math questions. No rules to follow on this one, just straight into the maths. So this is alpha decay. It's written with a symbol alpha, four and two up here. Um, you should be familiar that this is the... Um, atomic number which is equal to the number of protons and this here is the mass number which is equal to the neutrons plus the protons. Some of you may be very on the ball and have recognised that an alpha particle has the same mass and atomic number as a helium particle. An alpha particle is just a helium nucleus, so there are no electrons in this. Just the protons and the neutrons. Uh, beta decay, again, this is the number of protons, so none, and this is the mass, none. Um, a beta particle is better known as an electron. The third type of radiation is gamma radiation, and that is just a wave. It has no mass, and we're not using it in this uh, video. So radioactive decay questions look really, really tricky and really, really nasty, but they're not. It's just simple maths. And it's really simple maths. You're going to need a periodic table, otherwise you're going to be very, very confused by what's going on here. What I'd like you to do is, after I've shown you a couple of examples, after you feel confident, pause the video and have a go at trying to do these yourselves. So, we need to do two sets of equations, the top row and the bottom row. We have 101, 101 minus 4. So, 101 minus 4 equals 97. And they would exactly the same on the bottom row. 44 minus 2 equals 42. Now we have the numbers. This is where your periodic, periodic table comes in. You need to look up the atomic number. And that will tell you what it is. And it is actually molybdenum. Exactly the same thing here. So top row maths first. 226 minus 4 equals 222. And then 88 minus 2 equals 86. This is the number we need to look up on our periodic table. And it is radon. So same thing again here, 118 minus 4 equals 114, 50 minus 2 equals 48. Look, 48 up on our periodic table, and it's cadmium. Now they might, might write this in the exam a slightly different way, putting the um, alpha decay over this side. It's exactly the same thing. So, some what plus 4 makes 108. So, 181 minus 4 is 177. 73 minus 2 equals 71. This number is the one we need to look up on our periodic table, and it is lutrium. Next one, 195 minus 4 equals 191, 78 minus 2 equals 76. Look up 76 on our periodic table and we get osmium. Now don't worry if the mass number up here isn't the same as the periodic table, it just means we have isotopes of things. Next one, 207 minus 4 equals 203, and then 82 minus 80 makes 80. 
eight is the number we need to look up on our periodic table and it is uh, there it is mercury so now we're moving on to beta decay beta decay has um, a minus one um, proton number and it has no mass so the top num top row mass is really really lovely and simple 89 minus 0 is 89 and then it's 31 39 sorry minus minus 1 equals and hopefully you should know from maths that when we have two minuses we have a plus so it's actually 39 plus 1 which makes 40 this is the number we need to look up on our periodic table and it is zirconium So here, 88 minus 0 is 88. 38 minus minus 1 is 39. 39 from the periodic table is tritium. So again, they've written it in a slightly different way, but exactly the same thing is going on. 86 minus 0 is 86. 37 minus minus 1 is 38. 38 from our periodic table is strontium. Okay, this one next. 238 minus 0 is 238. 92 minus minus 1 is 93. 93 from our periodic table is Neptunium. And now a really hard and nasty question for you. Um, what is the product when uranium-240 undergoes the following series of decay radiations? Alpha, alpha, beta, alpha, beta, beta. So, uranium-240 has a mass of 240 and uranium's atomic number is 92. So we minus alpha for 2. So 240 minus 4. Two, three, six, ninety. Ninety on the periodic table is thorium. And the next one is another alpha. So four, two. And notice how I'm writing arrows are not equal signs. This isn't maths here. Next, uh, so two, three, six minus four is two. 3, 2, 90 minus 2 is 88. We look the 88 up on the periodic table and it gives us radium. So we've done alpha, we've done alpha, now we have beta decay. So 2, 3, 2 minus 0 is 2, 3, 2. 88 minus minus 1 is 89. And 89 is actinium. So now we're losing an alpha particle again. So 232 minus 4 equals 228. 89 minus 2 is 87. 87 on the periodic table is francium. So we've done... Um, Alpha, alpha, beta, alpha, beta next. Zero minus one. So two, two, eight minus zero is two, two, eight. Eight, seven minus, eight, seven minus minus one is eighty-eight. Look the eighty-eight up on the periodic table, and it is radium. So the last one it is going to undergo is beta radiation again. So 228 minus 0 is 228. 88 minus 81 is 89, which is actinium. 
So that was a rather complicated question. They won't ask you anything that hard in your GCSE. They might ask it in the A-level though. I just want to point out to you that we have a radium here and a radium here, but they're quite different numbers. And actinium here and actinium here, again, with quite different numbers. The um, mass number of something is going to go a very long way to determining how stable something is. Um, you're going to have more stable and less stable isotopes. So it's quite common to have, in a very long case series like this, the same element come up twice.